Welcome back, beautiful beings. Today, we're going to do Valentine's pocket file number 09, inside and cover. Okay? I'm going to show you this because I went around hearts with it, or scrap hearts. It's pen mark, permanent marker. It's pink, of course. Hot pink. And I went around the hearts that I cut out from our scrap paper that we had. I just went around it with marker. Then I have this ticket I want to cut. And I have these scissors from Better Office Products. So I'm just going to take them in like that. All the way up. Make it look like a ticket on the edges. Then I have a button, and I found another little button in my beads. It's pink. So we're going to sew that onto here. I got the needle and thread already. So I think I'm going to put the butterfly here. I hope everyone had a great weekend and had fun. I want to put that there, but I'm thinking I want a piece of something behind it. Maybe a piece of this. I was thinking, if you don't have those scissors, like you can just sew something on the edge. Cut a piece of ribbon in half and then fray it. And then just sew those on the edges of the ticket. I'm just giving you ideas. <laughs> I don't know beautiful beings. Just trying to help you out. Or you can put lace on the edge of them too. I think I want this underneath our button. But this is great to make little embellishments with your scraps. This burlap is scrap and if we have buttons, you can get buttons at Dollar Tree. Little jar of them too. I know that's where that pink button's from. That one. Wow. Makes a cute little embellishment. Okay. That's gonna go up here. And so is our ticket. So is our burlap. This, I have an idea. These are from Dollar Tree, okay? And they come in 48, right? And I wanna use this one because I think the gray would look good on this. And I wanted to cut that one out. But even in this, like, you can put lace on the end of your tickets if you don't have the rigged. Or you can just take your scissors and go in and out and do, do like square ones, not square, triangle ones. Be creative, beautiful beings. You have it in you, okay? But I'm gonna get this out of the way. I'm gonna show you how to do this before we start the other ones. All right, beautiful beings. I have the stencil, it's a big one. I was trying to find the Dollar Tree one to compare it, because it looks like the same but bigger, but it's not from the Dollar Tree. And I don't know where I got it, I'm sorry. Just look up stencils. If you put designs, stencil designs, this should come up. Okay, but I did most of it because it took a while. And then I wanted to point out, I didn't do this because we're putting a belly band there, but you can do it fading in and out, in and out too. You don't have to fill the whole thing. Okay, so I figured I'd just do a part with you. Because you've seen me do this before. Right, we're gonna line it up. Make sure it's lined up at least. Over here don't matter, I'm pretty much done over here. So I'm gonna be more focused on the other side because the belly band's gonna be doing that and there's no sense of wasting ink. 
you know, if the belly band's gonna be there. All right, so I'm gonna line it up. See how it's dark and then fades and then dark? You can do that, or you can just do it all light, do it all dark, whatever you want, okay? Remember our flowers in the last video, if you watched it, we made these flowers. We're gonna make a belly band, okay? Got a piece of cardboard it's from Queen Anne Dark Chocolate Cherries. Okay? <laughs> I just painted it white. I knew you weren't gonna see it behind it, but you see me do this before too. I'm gonna sew both ends, okay? And then I'll be back. Okay, beautiful beings. Just gotta cut off the thread and cut this down. And I did remember to pull <laughs> the wire out on the one side, but I did it on that side. because I don't want the fabric to fray. I'm just going to do that real quick. Both ends. We can use this scrap. That one's too small, but this, we can use that for a scrap for something else. So we'll put that in our scrap bin. And then I'm going to glue this down. But before I do that, I'm going to glue it here. So when I come back, this will be glued down, okay? Top to bottom, I'm just doing up here and down here. But right now, I need to put something in here that's plastic. I almost put the cupcakes on here. <laughs> I think they're cute cupcakes, and we could even make these, you know? And then just use paint, you know? Just cut it out. And a piece of cardstock, a brown piece of cardboard, or cardstock, and then paint, and make our own little cupcakes. And then, of course, that's cardboard coordinated, and we know we can make them out of that. Just saying, if you don't have the money to buy them, those are from Dollar Tree. All right, this is from Dollar Tree too. I didn't have that ready for you. But what I'm gonna do, Put that there. Just, I'm going to put it on the other side so I can wipe it off and it doesn't cover up the cupcakes. Okay, let's get this out of here. Okay. This house is from Crafter Square. It was right here. I just cut it out because I wanted to see how it would look on, the, on this and it looks nice. But and here's all the stickers. Laugh often, today is a good day to have a good day. We are family, home sweet home, houses. Enjoy today and life, okay? That's where that came from, Crafter Square sticker. Now, we're gonna glue it down, and it should glue down nicely because there's a piece of cardstock. <laughs> we know how I went through an ordeal trying to glue that on that fabric. But I want that one there and that one down here. I'm gonna stand up, make sure you can see the full thing. And you can. I'm gonna put this down here and that there and this in the middle. So I'm gonna peel the sticker off. I didn't know that was attached. I thought it was separate. Put some glue on it. Turn it over, make sure it's centered in the middle, right there, and boom. I just put like extra glue. And the reason we got that in here in case the glue leaks through the ribbon, okay? Beautiful beings. All right, now we're gonna glue the flower down on the 
Let's do this one. I'm probably gonna need something down there. Another piece because it's not over completely underneath where I'm gonna glue that. And I don't want it sticking to the other one so we have two pockets for our belly band. Stand up. Put that one right there. I'm not gonna push down. I'm just gonna let the glue do its job and then I'll come back later. Yeah, I'm not gonna attempt to move that. So we're gonna move that down. All right, I'm gonna just softly place it here, okay? Beautiful beans. I'm gonna softly set that flower there. And then, and I think these are good. Okay, maybe me move it down there. I'm gonna move it down now. I wanted to wait until the glue started setting. And we're gonna put that about there. And there we go. Put that right about there. I'm gonna try not to push down, okay? So when this is dry, I will be back. Okay, beautiful beings, I wanted to show you. <laughs> I caught it, thank goodness. Look, if I would have put it over here, it would have been upside down. <laughs> See? <laughs> so I just wanted to show you that. I had to put it over here. And I'm so glad I caught that. <sighs> right, now we're gonna finish our other pocket. Okay, beautiful beans, let's start on this pocket. I know I want this here, and I know I want that here. And the ticket, I think I'm gonna go around it with paint. Maybe, maybe we don't need to. Maybe I just need to cut this off. This ticket is from scrapbookingfairies.com. I'm a cup of coffee and print some stuff that you like on there out. I'm just trying to get rid of the white on the edges. But I still think it would look cuter with pink around it. Paint around it. So I think I'm gonna do that. set this aside to dry. All right, I know for sure I want this here. I made another one of these. I made one in our how to make pockets out of rose petals video. I showed you how to make this and I used Tuscan red this time. But I want to glue this down there and then I want something on that but I don't know what yet so we're just gonna put a little glue here okay so I got it on everywhere except for where I tore the burlap out to have it fray a little bit okay and I want to put that right there just a piece of scrap and I did zigzag with the scissors to make a shape out of the scrap. Then I wanna glue this here, but I think we're gonna to have to wait for a ticket. She's gonna go here, but I gotta figure out something up there. I don't know what. And we can use the rest of this up. We could just keep putting layers and then cut it off. Yeah, let's do that. Let's use this up. More fray coming out. There we go. And we're gonna let that dry. Whoop. Almost used the whole piece of scrap up. <laughs> All right, let's move on to. Right. 
another piece I want to work on, but I don't know how this is going to turn out. I do have no idea where I got this stencil. Okay. Sorry. If I would have known I was going to make videos 10 years later, <laughs> I would have kept all the little details, you know, wrote it on or something of where I got stuff. But I just want these birds right there. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to trace them out and then cut them. I don't like that wing there, so I'm just doing these two. And I'm going to trace them with a pencil. Here they are. I only I cut around the pencil line so they were a little bigger. Okay. I need a piece of scrap because we're gonna paint them white. All right, beautiful beans. We gotta let them dry. Our little white doves. I'm gonna set them up there. I don't know if this will hit that. I have this. Okay, beautiful wings. Got the paint off my scissors or off my scissors. <laughs> I got the paint off my fingers. I'm gonna cut this off. It's cardboard. And this is just from rice, brown rice box. Okay. Then, what I want to do, I think I'm going to, here, let me move this. What I'm going to do is measure this. I want this tag, okay? So I'm going to measure it. Cut the cardboard. And then I'm going to scratch this up, because I want it on this side, okay? We're just making sure it's going to stick, but as you can see, it's got a gloss to it, so because I want the cardboard on the other side, so it can be, if you want to flip the tag around, you can flip it around. I'm not sure where I'm putting it, but we'll figure it out. We'll figure it out, beautiful beings. Right, we got that. So we're going to take our tag. Which is a sticker. Peel it off. Okay. I'm gonna stick that on this side. And hopefully that just holds. It should. It seems like strong glue on it. Alright, and then I want this one. Out, make sure it sticks down. That's all we're doing. I'm going to peel that off. And stick that there. And this is the bag that came. Jot stickers, there's 43. Hopefully I had said 43, I don't remember what I said. And they're jot, okay? Right. Now, we're gonna cut this out and this out. might be tricky. I didn't think of that at all. But we're gonna use our X exacto knife like that and just put a line hopefully without going
All right, it's gonna have to do beautiful beings because I don't want to ruin it. I'm surprised I didn't ruin it <laughs> to begin with, but we got it, beautiful beings. But I gotta figure out what I'm gonna put on the back of this. And what I'm gonna hang it with. But we'll move on until I figure that out. Let's go back to these. They're not dry yet. All right, so let's set our doves over here. Bring in this. I wanted to, I already painted it. It's a wood heart. If you watched my other videos, you've seen me do this before. I'm gonna put glue on it. I got these pink beads. Dropping them in the glue. Do I even have a toothpick around here? But this is these beads are from Dollar Tree. It's a great way to get rid of your beads. You don't know what to do with them. There's a bubble. And there's that. I think it's cute. Okay? It's a great way to get rid of those Dollar Tree beads. beings we're gonna do the same thing with our doves and hopefully <laughs> we can keep the shape okay I got little tiny beads I got them for 50 cents at Walmart I don't know if they still sell these or not got them a while back I think it kept form pretty good. What do you think? I think you can still tell what it is. I don't want to pick it up. <laughs> I'm afraid. Man. Bead fell off. I think it kept the form pretty good. You can still tell what it is. And I kept his beak so that defines itself. I didn't put nothing there. I'm gonna move that up here dry. Now we're going to do this. And there's that one. And I think it helps not doing a bank and putting that one down flat. to define the eye and the beak so you actually know what it is. <laughs> All right, when everything's dry, I'll be back. Okay, beautiful beings. I got some washi tape here. And I'm gonna stick this down underneath the burlap. figure out where I want that and how long it's got to be. That long. Put some glue down. Now I want her somewhere here. I want the ticket this way. I 
want this like in here, like that. All right, so we're gonna glue the ticket down. Made sure I kept the glue away from the edges. And I put it like right there. And again, this is from Scrap Bookings Fairies, the stamp. And this is from the Graphic Fairy. I went around it with red marker on the edges and then I went around it with white paint. Okay. And I want her like right there. Then I got little beads, little hearts here that I showed you. And I got beads up here. We're going to put this probably right here. Or in the middle. We'll put that in the middle. She kind of looks crooked. Let's straighten her up down there. There. Okay, now I'm gonna put, I don't know why I didn't think about it, but I'm gonna put a little glue here, just for beads. And I gotta figure out what heart I want over there, but we're gonna add beads over here. I didn't think about it. Well, it doesn't matter if I thought about it or not because the beads wouldn't have fit through that eye of that needle. It was too big anyway. Seems like we're missing something here. Hearts in there? No. We don't have this heart. We can just put a single heart up there. And voila. Kissing booth ticket. Pucker up, beautiful beings. <laughs> Pucker up. Admit one, then a number, seven, eight, one, three, four, nine. Did I glue that down? I didn't glue that down. Put that one that way. And there's that. But I have to trim that off. And I'm not doing that. I'm just trying to get everything to bend with my pocket. But I'm not gonna trim that off until those beads are dry, okay? So we're gonna have to wait for them to dry. Okay, beautiful beings, I found a kiss. I felt like it was missing something there, so we're putting a kiss there from our scraps, okay? All right, now we gotta make sure that's where these are going. I'm not putting a pocket, I'm just putting them there like that. I think they look cute. What do you think? <laughs> But I want to make sure they're in the middle and they're lined up good. Okay, so I think I should start with a heart. Put these where I want. Just like that. There we go. I think I got it where I want. Don't move doves. A little crooked. Hey, what do you think? I got glue right there. <laughs> All right, we're gonna glue a pocket down here. Okay, and it's gonna be a close one, but we're gonna make sure it's not on the fold. And we're just gonna glue the bottom. There. Oh crap, beautiful beings. 
Were any of you noticed that? Did you say, hey, you forgot to cut the stuff off? <laughs> any of you? <laughs> it's good over there. Now I gotta get this out of here. But I can't see the other side. It's right to that side. And. right there because the scissors won't go down deep enough and I don't want to cut it. Cut my pocket. It's good enough. Good enough. But, well, I think I might need a lighter because it's like frizzing. I'm just going to glue it. I'm just going to glue it. Good enough. Make sure it's not on the fold. We got a piece of scrap we snipped right there. Heck of a time, beautiful beings. You see? Alright, now we got it. I kind of wanted it up a little bit from the edge. There we go. There we go, beautiful beings. Alright, I'll be back when it dries. Hey beautiful beings, for this, I have these. I don't know what they're gonna fit. I thought I dropped one. Uh, I think I'm gonna do pink. And that's what, so I throw it back. That's what these were made for, right? But not for this one. <laughs> for die cut I got for tags. But I think it's going to work. But if you don't have that and you cut that out, just go in it with marker on both sides. Cover it up. Okay? So I'm going to try to glue that down. Got this. I'm going to punch. It's already got a hole. It, it did in a die cut. It's a die cut. But I'm going to lower it just a tad right below it and then punch this with a bigger puncher. Okay. And what I want to do, oh, we got to do the lines first. So we got a piece of cardboard. Make sure it's cut straight across. Kind of didn't look like it was cut right on the bottom, but it's because the line's crooked. <laughs> Alright, those are dry. Just want to get any glue that will come off, off. Alright, now. Now I'm gonna, I was going to show you how to do it with marker, but I found those. So we're going to put this through here, like that, and then we're going to connect it to this one. And just have it dangling off of it, like that, if I get up there. I don't want it loose, so if they want to take, turn that over and look at it, they can. make it if they want to take it off they can hand. Okay beautiful beings. 
I got these. I don't know if they'll stick in them though. I don't know if they're sharp. Oh, they are. So I'm gonna take this and right, I'm gonna match up the top. I'm gonna stick that through there. There we go. And just get it through. All right, beautiful beings, that was not easy, but we got it through and it kind of bent this out of shape, but there. <laughs> okay. I'm just putting that on there like that. All right, and if you look up safety pins, you can find black ones, these ones, I think I colored these. I got these from Dollar Tree, but these ones don't have a point edge to put, you know, it through fabric. I got these before I had all the other ones. I just got little ones from Dollar Tree and I spray painted them. Okay. I got some white ones. I spray painted some other white ones in gray, whatever spray paint I had at the time. Showed it. I showed you the gold. I have to get these two. They don't go through fabric, but they're handy too. Okay. All right. So we got this. This is all done. That's all I'm gonna do to it. Okay. That's it. Now I got this. And those are upside down because I put them in this way, so I pull it out the bottom. These are from Crafter Square. We used them before, the rub-ons, in another video. And I want that package. And I want the stamp. But I forgot my scissors. All right. I want the Valentine stamp. I just got these Better Office products. I got a whole set, thanks to my son and his wife got them for me for Christmas one year. Right. I think I need to ink that up or something. It's way too much white for me. Red. I'm thinking red marker. Alright. There you go. Good okay. enough. Good enough, beautiful beings. So, I just want that there. I kind of wanted writing, but I don't think I'm going to need it. I don't think we're going to. So we're going to glue this down. There. Now, we're going to get our package. Sticker off. Oh, you gotta cut them out. <laughs> I'm new to you, these. I always forget you gotta cut them out. So we gotta cut this one out. Over here. There we go. Put these back in here. And. There we go, okay. But I think it needs something like a wording. Don't know. Okay, I got this. I'm gonna glue this right in the middle. Okay, and I also went around this picture with Tuscan Red. These pockets are for the cover. And I'm gonna to try to put this 
line it right up to the bottom and move it up a little bit. I want it lined up straight to the bottom. And then we're going to cut scallops out around it. And then I was thinking maybe we go around this with a gold. It's not cut right here for some reason. That fixed it a little bit. But I like that for a pocket. I think going around it with gold would look nice. Okay, beautiful beings. I got some gold, pure gold. I don't know if this kind of looks wonky. I don't care. <laughs> I don't care, beautiful beings. I'm just going to go around it with gold. And there we go. And I'm going to lay this on something dry. Okay, beautiful beans. I got cling stamp, scrapbook.com. Wish you were here. That's what I'm using, and I'm using black ink. Put it right here on this piece of cardboard. See what it looks like. First try, perfect. <sighs> perfect, beautiful things. The cardboard likes absorbing things because it's so dry. Cut it out. I want to use the other scissors because they leave a mark. Which way do I have to cut them to get the mark? This way. Yep. See? I like that. So hopefully I can do it again. I'm going to cut it on the other side. Now I'm going to do this. I'll do really close to the edge. Then we'll do this side really close to the edge. These are metal cutters, but they don't cut real thick metal, but they cut metal. And I like it. We should probably go around it with a color. How about gold? I don't even know if this will show up, but it's all tore up from our last thing. But it matches the paper color. As you can see, it's all tore up <laughs> from what we did last with it. <laughs> so I'm trying to catch that all on that paper down there. Garbage. Just gold chalk. Okay. Let's go back in. No. So I'm going to do this. Flatten it out a little bit. It's kind of 
build up from it. So let's get them out of here. Wipe my fingers. And then we're gonna glue it down. I lost the lid to my glue <laughs> in this whole process. Just putting it in the middle so it don't ooze out. but I don't know is that good enough I'm thinking it needs something else I don't know I found something <laughs> I got little airplanes these are die cuts but I gotta find the right one I kind of want a silver one I have no idea if I have a silver one but I want a silver one just because of the color of this I think it would go well with it. Things are sticking to my finger. There's a gray one that works. I'm not sure why there's a hole there. I'm not sure, but. That way, that way. That way. <laughs> Glue that down. Maybe that's for if you want to put a brat in there or something. I want to put this on cardboard and I'm gonna to have to color the cardboard because I don't have no more of this color I like this color of cardboard because it goes with the maroon the cover of our other side of our pocket pocket pile the cover right. so this is going here This is going here, and I want this up here. And the other one we made that's got the gold around it is going to be down here. But for this, I wanted to cut this one out, but I also I don't want it on the fold. But what? Make it look like a pond. How am I gonna do that? <laughs> I don't know, let's see. Paint it up and find out. Right, I don't want no paint on this, so I'm moving it. to kind of look wavy so I'm doing this okay and I'll be back when it's dry okay beautiful beings I know this don't look like a pond but <laughs> it's gonna have to do we'll pretend it's a golden pond we're gonna glue our swan down something up there wording or something but what word 
elegance. <laughs> elegance would be good. I think. And then just play with your cardboard because it likes to curl up. Put paint, modge bodge, or glue, or whatever on it. Just be gentle with it so you don't make any lines in your pocket. So that came up a little bit. Put some of this glue behind it. that in the corner so we're gonna do just put it right along there there's an address on it and I didn't know <laughs> so hey okay. I'm gonna glue this down here I'm just gluing the bottom right here it's about time to fill both glues beautiful beings they're getting low it's going there then I'm just gonna I don't know what to do here. Oh, you know what? I'm just gonna do it this way. Both in the middle. This is curving up on the bottom. And I don't want it to. I'm trying to get it to go down. But it doesn't want to work with me. I just put it on the bottom. I'm putting this right here in the middle. I'm gonna wait for it to get tacky before I set something on it. Make sure our swan is gluing down. I think I'm just gonna leave it. I don't have nothing that says elegance on it. So <laughs> I'll just leave it and then maybe someday I'll find the word elegance in a magazine or somewhere and I'll have it. Okay, beautiful bangs, it's just on the top and it's going right here. Make sure everything's lined up. It looks good to me. And when it's dry, I will be back and show you both sides. Okay, beautiful beans. Everything's glued, dry, and ready to be shown. Okay. And they can write whatever they want on the back of this tag. Close up. Wish you were here, Valentine. that tag and that tag. This pocket file will hold a lot of pictures like all the other pocket files. So close up with that. Kissing booth. Pucker up beautiful beings. <laughs> They turned out very, very cute. Delightful. And then we got this. It has two pockets, one underneath. And then we tuck underneath that because we got two pockets under here because we didn't glue that piece down. So remember, okay? Close up the flowers. What 
I love most about my home is who I share it with. And then finally, the back. I love this picture. It reminds me of the cottage my mom and dad used to own when I was a kid. Of course, it didn't have swans. It was a lake, but <laughs> it reminds me of it. I love that picture. And I think the pocket turned out cute. And then our swan in the golden pond. <laughs> beautiful beans have a wonderful everything